As shown in the diagram below, line segment EF intersects planes P, Q, and R. If EF is perpendicular to planes P and R, which statement must be true? Okay, so there's a rule that says that if two planes are intersected by a line and it's perpendicular in both cases, so let me try to draw that. If two planes, so this, this isn't necessarily those two planes, it's just an arbitrary two planes that I'm drawing, are intersected by the same line, and it's perpendicular, if I can draw that, that's perpendicular and this is perpendicular, so the line segment intersects both planes at a right angle, then the planes must be parallel to each other. Now hopefully you can visualize that. Imagine that this line is going through these two planes and it's literally intersecting at right angles. Then no matter how you move those planes, those planes are going to be parallel to each other. So if you apply that to this drawing, they're telling us that EF they're telling us that EF is perpendicular to P planes P and R. So this is plane P, so this is intersecting at a right angle, and this is plane R, so this is intersecting at a right angle. So planes P and R must be parallel. Let's just look at the other three and make sure they don't make more sense. Plane P is parallel to plane Q. Well, right off the bat, that can't be true because this line segment is intersecting planes P and Q at different points, and yet P and Q have a shared edge. So if those planes were parallel, they would never touch. They'd go on forever in all directions without ever touching. And yet we see right here they have a shared edge. So certainly P is not parallel to Q. Is R perpendicular to plane P? R perpendicular to P? No, for the same reason we just said R was parallel to P. It certainly isn't perpendicular. And lastly, plane P is perpendicular to plane Q. That looks like it could be true. So that's, But it's not necessarily true. You could imagine that this angle here between plane P and plane Q could be acute or right or obtuse. So they could be perpendicular, but not necessarily. So we certainly can't say it's number one. Number four is the best choice.